approaches because I, I still I still plan on competing and I'd like to win a world title like in my division, right? My age. Yeah. Division. So I'm 42. It's going to be masters three, four or five by the time I. There, so, there's veterans uh, competition. Yeah, that's good. Like you see them in their white beards and stuff. I don't know if it's there is age uh, categories as well, but or if it's just veteran because here veteran is 35 and up. So I'm not sure if it's a 35 can go up against a 55 year old to me that that's not very that's not it shouldn't be a thing it, there should be age categories but yeah you can always go for something in judo like even if you very love if you love etiquette and traditionalism you can go for kata competition even mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well here in here in canada where i'm at like they have um they have m1 so that's starting at uh, 30 years old then when you're 35 then you're uh, masters two. And then when you're 40 up to, you know, 44, for example, that's masters three. So there's like, there's, oh, okay. categories yeah, that, that, within, I agree with that. That's yeah. So there's categories yeah, yeah. within veterans, you know? Yeah. Like, because like a 30 year old man is like, you can go to the Olympics compared to a 50 year old man. Exactly. Exactly. So like my, my goal is to win uh, a world title in the next five years. So right now I'm trying to map out my, my, my training, my progression and everything I need to do to, to win that title. And yeah. I think that one, one thing that's going to help me is to, because I'm still able to train with the, the seniors, you know, like the, the 20 year olds. Yeah. I'm not of course winning or beating them. Um, you know, I might give them a hard time once in a blue moon, but I train yeah. with them. And if I train with uh, other veterans as well, who are a little bit more, technical and more on the timing aspect of it i think yeah. that's and that's that's what's going to help me get to my goal and win in competition because if i have both sides of um if i have the time if i develop the timing and the technique and i still i'm still able to to maintain my my strength and athleticism and the aggression part of it then i think i'm going to have a good chance against um people in my division i yeah. think I'm not sure because I don't know how, how these guys are. I have to, uh, the plan yeah. is to compete when everything opens up again to start competing regularly. And then after that, going to a, um, uh, a world, uh, you know, uh, international tournament, yeah. like a world championship for veterans, for masters, and then see what happens from there and then see where I'm at. To kind of assess like where my level is, you know, like where am I um, in regards to everybody else that's competing in that division. And then yeah. after that, However, I perform, then I go back to the drawing board and then I prepare for the next year. And then from there, I try very, to do better. Very, yeah, it can be a bit tricky because I, I remember once in one in your, uh, you said something in your videos. Mm -hmm. um, you said something about like, yeah, you can go compete in masters, but that guy can be like a former Olympian or a former, uh, like who used to compete in Grand Prix and Grand Slam that can come up against you. So it's not, they're not going to be all like you. Uh, um, you know, they started late and then they, you know, made their way up to that high level. So it can be a bit tricky. So, but I think with what you're doing in terms of, uh, you know, uh, strength training and, uh, you know, flexibility, longevity, all that stuff that you do on the side with your like fitness, I think that's going to help you a lot. I think you're doing a great job. Mm, okay. I don't know your judo, like your height, your weight, but I think with the fitness stuff, like I see with the exercises, preserve your, your shoulders, your knees, it says, I think that's very good.